Good morning, guys. It's Sunday morning, St. Patrick's Day, 2019. And I am down in my studio getting ready for um, later on today um, where my friend Dale's going to come over and we're going to paint. I'm going to share with you guys what we're painting. going to be painting this mug o beer <laughs> or stein o beer and um i think the reason i thought of this is because she she's from england she likes dark beer and i like pale ales and they have all this beer wars always going on between i don't know if it's a wisconsin illinois thing or what but i thought that would be a fun thing to do and it, you know beer is a saint patty's day thing I made the mistake, see this pucker right here, where the light hits it? Um, I don't know if you guys saw my live video where I did a tip on how to, how to fix a loose canvas. I made the mistake of hanging this on this little, I'm gonna show you this rack over here. Oh my goodness, I'm not awake even. I put it on this rack here um, just so that it would be a nice little painting right there by my mirror and I didn't realize that it pressed down and it's stretching the canvas like that but there is a fix for that um, you spray mist water inside of here and it basically just makes it shrink and tighten back up again so I'll do that later but um, anyway this is what we're gonna be painting today and I don't know if you're gonna have a chance to join us for the live or not, it'd be great if you could be there. Um, you know, but if not, I, I totally understand. All of this is designed to fit into your busy lifestyle, so never feel bad about that. But um, anyway, um, yeah, this is gonna be a fun one, and this would make a great gift for dad or for a guy or, well, anybody that likes beer, right? <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be painting today, and um, I actually forgot what colors I used for this, so I'm just going to do myself a little test thing on the side real quick and um, to recall how I did that and also so that I can help Dale out with her dark beer color. But uh, I'm going to do that later. I am thinking that this will be the next painting that we put, that I do a demo on and put into the painter's journey. Since it's spring, I thought this would be a fun one. I might do it a little bit differently um, and more abstract, these branches here. But that's a cute one, isn't it? This I used um, opaque markers. Like you could use these Sharpie, these types of Sharpie markers. I don't know if you have these oil-based Sharpie markers, but that's what you could use for that. I think I actually used a set of, um, let me go grab them, a different set of pens. And I found these to be fabulous. These are Jane Davenport. This might be backwards. It is, isn't it? Let me fix this real quick. Is it the right way now? Yeah, I think it is. So these are by Jane Davenport. And um, these are really the best pens <clears throat> to paint over acrylic on canvas. They really go on nice. Love, love, love these. And I got these at Michael's. I think it was a, they, I think she has a few different color sets. Um, this had, um, this is like peachy pink, purple. There was a beautiful pale aqua. I don't know where that is right now. But that's what I used on this, and I really loved the effect that that gave. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm, this is what I'm going to work on um, painting this morning and putting up in the painter's journey. And, you know, you can always do kind of your own version, too, of, um, of anything that I do. You know, feel free to change it up a little bit. 
So anyway, um, that's it guys. I just thought I'd say good morning, share with you um, that this is the painting that we're gonna be doing at three o'clock. And you know what, real quick, maybe I'll tell you what colors they are in case you wanna be ready. So let me figure that out real quick and you can kinda share in my thought process. If that's not too boring. I'm still having my coffee. All right, so I still do have a few paints out. I was thinking of even playing around with my, <coughs> excuse me, with my funky fish a little bit more. And it's really funny, true to life, just like what happens in my classes all these years. I was being so critical of myself about the video yesterday and I thought the painting didn't look real great, but when I watched it later on, I'm like, oh, it wasn't it wasn't so bad. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, that's how we all are, right? Oh my goodness. Um, one thing I wanted to share was all the really successful artists that that I watch, that I've seen, they all have really big egos, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Sometimes it's bad. Some sometimes you see some really egocentric artists out there, but you do kind of have to have a, a good sense of self and, and a sense of self-confidence and um, and a big ego, you know? Let yourself get a little bit um, um, happy and, and fulfilled and satisfied with the good stuff that you've done. And if you don't know what good stuff you've done that you can feel really proud of, you have to equip yourself. You have to um, give yourself that documentation, if you will. And um, so I guess this is gonna turn into a tip video, a free, a bonus like tip video. Um, one of the best things that I ever did was when I finally put up shelves in my studio here in, the, in my home, in my basement studio, and um, actually the first time I put up shelves to display my artwork was when I opened up my art studio in Summers, Wisconsin. Um, it was like three years ago. And I put up my paintings. And it was like, wow, look at all that I've done. I mean, I didn't even realize, you know, how much really pretty decent work that I had compiled, you know, how much, how much neat stuff I had done. And you need that. You need to see that when you're doubting yourself. It's like you're equipping yourself for those times when you need the nurturing and to be reminded of why you're doing this, that you really are getting better. You'll see your growth. You'll um, kind of revel in your successes. Every painting that you um, get yourself into a problem and figure out how to get out of it and fix it, oh, there's nothing really more fulfilling than that. I mean, well, maybe a couple of things, but um, it's really, really rewarding. And um, when I look at those paintings, I remember that. I remember that, oh yeah, I thought that painting was horrible. And um, I set it aside for a month and I went back to it and Wow, look at how cool it looks. And take pictures too, take pictures of your work. I'm gonna do a, a tip video probably this week on how to photograph your artwork. And um, like I said in the, um, I did a video for the group a while ago about getting inspired. And um, I wanna share this with you. I don't know if I showed this at all. But this is, um, I think it's the brand name is I, I toya I T O Y A and I get this at Hobby Lobby. I really love this um, book or whatever it's called, and it's got um, sleeves in it. Okay, so oh, I think I filled the whole thing up. No, this is what they look like. So it's a double, you know, two-page sleeve with black paper in the middle, and this is how I I've compiled a couple of these and I just stick my watercolors in here or, or ideas or sketches or things that inspire you, whatever. Get yourself some kind of, you know, holder like this 
for your paper artwork. And we are gonna do a lot of artworks on paper and I'm gonna talk about um, papers that you can buy and all that stuff, but it's really convenient to have this type of artwork too um, because you can just put it in a whole thing like this and take it and show it. Um, you never know what your artwork is gonna bring. Um, when you show your book to people, um, you never know what's gonna happen. They're gonna ask you uh, if you sell this or who knows, somebody might want you to design something for them or who knows. So you gotta start building it so that they'll come, so to speak. So anyway, that's what this is. And um, what was I gonna say about this? Now I forgot. Oh my God, brain. Um, so that's what I did. I started just compiling. I should do a flip through. You guys know what a flip through is where you just kind of hold your camera up and flip through your artwork. <laughs> um, oh, I know. I was saying that this uh, kind of reinforces your belief in yourself when you have your artwork in a book that you can go back and look at, you know. And, you know, some of this stuff... I might have been inspired by another artist, so I can't really display it publicly. Like this one, I was inspired by some woman who does this sort of thing, and it really looks a lot like her artwork. But for me, personally, it's fine. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. So these are just some watercolors. So, um, and they're not all, you know, perfect. But that's okay. Um, sometimes I might just stick something in here because it reminds me, well, one day I didn't feel like painting, but I painted. And you know what? I'm going to stick it in here anyway. Even though it's not the most perfect watercolor, I'm going to put it in here because I did it. <laughs> you know? So, I'm, I mean, seriously, you need to start doing that. You need to start equipping yourself um, with evidence that you are an artist, you know? And um, little by little, how cool she is. I forgot what her name is. She's a star, this is bigger than life, look at that. <laughs> I made it really big. Um, so I hope that you'll do this. This is my husband, Mark. <laughs> he looks kind of sick in this one, but I think he was sick actually. I think he had a cold. <laughs> um, so yeah, fun stuff, right? Oh, look at that. Give your art some wings. So I am just so excited to have you guys here and to share all of this with you. And this was inspired by another artist right here. This one. I saw that somewhere. This was actually um, a class I took online. Um, oh, it's always, you gotta go the other way than you think when you're doing this. There you go. Oh my goodness. Because the camera's on the weird other side. Oh my goodness, it's so hard. There you go. Cool, huh? <laughs> I have a photo of that somewhere. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how to do that too. Here's a cactus. I should do a better flip through of this. But anyway, geraniums. Oh, we should paint some geraniums soon. Love geraniums. So anyway, yeah. Um, let me know. Are you going to get one of these? Or, you know, go to Hobby Lobby. You could use your coupon. Um, find something for you to start putting your your work into all right that's your assignment and um all right so i was just going to show you that real quick i'm going to play around with this a little bit more since i got the paint still and i don't know if you know this you probably do but you can you can keep this paint fresh uh for quite a while actually i mean this is the poor man's way of doing it you can also buy um uh, Masterson's Stay Wet palette. Um, I'll probably be doing a video on that. 
I think you've probably heard of that. Maybe you haven't. It's a it's a basically a method for keeping paint wet in like a closed box, and it's got like a sponge underneath. So it comes with a sponge, and they have this special paper that the moisture comes up through and keeps your paint wet from the bottom. Um, and I have some tips on that, some cheaper paper that you can get. I think it's parchment paper works or some kind of kitchen paper, butcher paper. Anyway, I'll have to dig that out and do a video on that. But for now, this really works fine. If this can stay um, for two days, you know, um, put the lid on it, make sure that it's, that it's um, you know, there's no air leaking in anywhere. Um, sometimes I'll just put my spritzer bottle on top of it and that holds it down securely. Or you can even put this in a big Ziploc bag and throw it in your fridge, you know, and keep it for a week. So you don't have to waste your paint. So I don't know if you knew that, but, um, all right, I'm probably not gonna mess around with this too much because I got a lot going on today. But um, let's figure out what colors to use to make beer. <laughs> And I probably should go pull up a photo reference of some dark beer. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to go grab my iPad. So you know what I do? I think I'll come back on and um, get a few colors out, and then I'll show you me testing the colors so that you won't be so bored while I'm getting all that ready. Okay, so I'll be back on in a little bit. Um, and show you guys how I'm gonna test out colors for our live painting later today. All right, guys, bye.